given question cross sectional area of bar is equal to 500 mm square modulus of elasticity is equal to 200 giga newton per meter square find the reactions at point a and d this is the question of bar subjected to axial forces with rigid support at both the ends we have to find out the reaction at point A and reaction at point D. If we observe the diagram, then at point A, this end is fixed and at point D, this end is also fixed. If we observe the point B and point C, then 5 kN and 10 kN force is acting towards the right hand side. We will show these forces with sign convention. So, the forces towards the right hand side we will show with positive sign and the forces towards the left hand side we will show with negative sign. So we will take this 5 kN force at this face is plus 5 kN and this 10 kN force at this face as a plus 10 kN. We are going to solve this question by using free body diagram. So this bar is divided into three portions, 1, 2 and 3. So we will consider the third portion. We know that this end at point D is fixed. So the reaction is applied towards the bar at point D from the fixed surface. So we will show the direction towards the bar and its magnitude is unknown. So we will say this, this reaction at point D is Rd and this Rd we have to find out. Now if we consider this portion CD then how to show this. So we will consider this free body diagram that means this body is in equilibrium. Now we will show this RD. Now direction is towards the left hand side. So if we observe with sign we have to show magnitude as a minus RD. Now to balance this RD at, fa at face C we have to show same magnitude but direction is opposite. So at face C we will show here as a RD. Now the force direction is towards the right hand side. So magnitude I will say plus RD. Now if we observe for this second portion at point C we don't know the magnitude and direction. So I will show this with horizontal line. Now in the given question here at this face there is plus 10 kN force is applied. Now if we observe here is the unknown magnitude x. So I will write here x plus Rd because here is plus Rd is equal to 10 kN. 10 kN. So how to find out x? So x is equal to 10 minus Rd. So here we have to show this force. So it's a magnitude if we observe it is having with positive sign. So for positive sign we have to show direction towards the right hand side. So this 10 minus Rd we will consider with positive sign. So direction is towards the right hand side. So I will write here 10 minus Rd. Now how to write it's a magnitude here plus 10 minus Rd. Now we will move to this second phase. Now again this body is in equilibrium. So to balance this we have to show at point B say force with same magnitude but opposite in direction. So opposite in direction means we have to show in this way. Magnitude is same that is 10 minus Rd. Now how to show this magnitude? So I will write here minus 10 minus Rd. So 10 minus Rd should be in the bracket. Now we will move to the first portion. Now at this first portion again if we observe at point B here plus 5 kN force is acting. So we don't know the magnitude as well as direction. So I will just draw the horizontal line. So again we will consider unknown term x that is the magnitude at this point B. So x now here is the minus sign. So we have to take this as it is x minus 10 minus Rd. 
so it is in bracket is equal to so at b it is plus 5 so here is 5 kilonewton now we have to find out the value of x so i will transfer this term to the right hand side so it will become x is equal to 5 plus in the bracket 10 minus rd so again we will simplify this 15 minus rd so x is equal to 15 minus rd and if we observe it is with positive sign so for positive sign we have to show force with towards the right hand side direction and we will write this magnitude 15 minus rd so i will write here 15 minus rd so this is the value for this magnitude with the direction now without direction how to write without direction we have to write with sign that is plus 15 minus rd now we will move to this point now here we have to show the direction of force in the opposite direction and with same magnitude. So at point A we have to show this. So here 15 minus RD. 15 minus RD. Now this face is at point A. So this is known as reaction at point A. So we can from this diagram we can say that RA is equal to 15 minus RD. So I will write here RA is equal to 15 minus rd so what is the relation in between ra and rd that is ra plus rd is equal to 15 if we observe the first portion then here is the tensile force so there is the elongation that means the length is getting increased so we will show as delta L1 with positive sign because the length is increased. Now in second portion also there is tensile force and that's why elongation delta L2 is positive. Now in third portion there is compression that means length is getting decreased so we have to show with negative sign that is delta L3. These two ends are fixed ends. So we can say that Total elongation due to tensile force is equal to total compression due to compression force. So from this diagram we will write delta L1 plus delta L2 is equal to delta L3. Now how to find out this delta L value? So we know that Young's modulus E is equal to stress by strength that is sigma divided by delta L by L. So this sigma is nothing, nothing but P by A. So how we can simplify this P divided by A. Now I will transfer this L to the numerator. That is L divided by delta L. So delta L is equal to we will write P L divided by A E. Now the value of cross sectional area for this bar is given. And it is same for all these three portions. And the value of Young's modulus is also given in the question. So we can say that delta L1 is equal to P1 L1 by AE. So in, in simplified form we will write here 1 by AE in the bracket. For delta L1 I will write P1 L1 plus P2 L2 is equal to for delta l3 we will write 1 by a e in the bracket p3 l3 now on both side 1 by a e is common and it is getting cancelled so what is the value of p1 so p1 that means for portion 1 we have to write the force so this tensile force is 15 minus rd so in bracket we have to write 15 minus rd multiplied by length so this length is 0 0.6 meter now if, if we observe this is in kilonewton because these forces are given in terms of kilonewton so we will multiply this term this bracket with 10 raised to 3 now we will move to the p2 l2 now for, for second portion p2 is 10 minus rd 10 minus rd multiplied by L2 that is 0 0.5 now this bracket is getting completed and we have to multiply with 10 raised to 3 e is equal to P3 L3 so P3 is RD multiplied by 
zero point four, and in bracket we have to multiply with ten raised to three because the standard unit is newton and forces are given in kilonewton. So this ten raised to three is also getting cancelled, and we have to simplify this. When we simplify this, we get nine minus zero point six R B plus five minus zero point five R D is equal to zero point four R D. So this is the equation in terms of R D. When we solve this, we will get R D is equal to nine point thirty three kilonewton. Now there is equation we get in terms of R A and R D. So R A plus R D is equal to fifteen. So R A is equal to fifteen minus nine point thirty three. So R A is equal to five point six kilonewton.